Hi, and welcome to Sky Education's genres that matter. These are 50 books you must read on SDG. Well, I could have done 100 or 500, but I know we don't read. But at least if I can brief you about what these books mean and why are they so valuable in what we do in a SDG program, perhaps you would love just the idea of the books being written and maybe you can author one or you can pick one and recommend it to your friends. What are SDGs, by the way? So there are 17 goals the United Nations has given. I call them Framework Sustainable Development Goals. 169 countries have signed them, have made a promise that we need to make the goals possible by 2030. Well, Greta is doing a great work. Malala is doing a great work. What are you doing about it? The goals range from goal number one, no poverty, to goal number 16, peace, justice, goal number 13, climate change, goal number four, quality education, goal number 10, gender equality, reduce inequality, so many goals that we can talk about, but what do we know about them? One great recommendation is go online and do a course on sustainable development program, which will actually enhance you. You can look at Sky Education videos on each goals, but today, it's all about the bibliophile in all of us, the books I would like to recommend. So let me get into the right thing. Well, you don't read, of course, so you watch. So before even I thought, I thought, let me go a curated Netflix list of all the series and shows you must watch. And don't hold me to account because not all of them fought into it because the hounding of the Hill House is not about sustainable cities, but it is the closest you can go to make a house habitable. But there are some goals that are really effective. Breaking Bad is a result of no poverty, isn't it? You have no poverty, it leads to crime, which is a very clear logic. So this is a fun diagram I did on Netflix. Again, we all have to collaborate for the goal, but there is this Umbrella Academy, if you haven't watched them. Some are very, very relevant and powerful. For example, when you look at goal number 10, reduce inequality, Dear White People is a show you must watch. It's about the stigma associated with blacks, the words that should not be used, and a great college atmosphere. Similarly, on peace and justice, when they see us is a crime thriller about three black boys being framed for a murder they never did. So some of them are so touching, some of them are so deep, some of them like Black Mirror is talking about adventure, in, uh, industry, innovation. Goal number nine. So well, if you're a Netflix hero, these are the goals I strongly think you should go ahead and give a binge watch to. But then, the idea of today's session is to take you to a series of programs where you and I not only look at the Netflix, not only sees the SDG in them, but we see SDG everywhere. If someone's wasting power in your home, if someone is not cleaning the lawns, if someone is not being empathetic to stray dogs, you know there's a goal hidden somewhere life underwater, life on land, sustainable cities, goal number four, goal number six, goal number eight, goal number 11. You will talk goals the way we do in Sky Education. What I've done to make things easier, I've created a list of bracket where I would put the goals in and the books will follow accordingly. So here we made four groups because 17 is a large number. We have a program called Goalpost 17. Well, it's nice to be forever young, forever 17 or 16, but it's not too easy to remember these goals. So it's easier to, if I group them according to group A, B, C, and D. So my group A, which I'm going to talk about today, in terms of my goals and the books I'm recommending, are no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, and goal number six, clean water and health and sanitation. If you see, all of these are to do with health, food, and water. That's the goal I'm going to talk about. As I keep going on, I'm going to goal on equality, goal on economic development and industry, and environment and energy. So these are the goals we're going to talk about. Let's take head on goal number one, the books you must read on the first and the most important goal rather, no poverty. If you look at the Millennium Development Goal, well, one of the earliest goals, where eight goals were there, this was one of the cornerstone where the other goals have evolved in. So what are the books I would like to recommend in No Poverty Zone? Well, if you haven't read or heard about this man called Hans Rosling, please Google him, watch his TED Talk, an amazing authority, a personality who makes population control, who makes the world growth so simple with IKEA boxes. He's written a book called Factfulness, 
where the world is told which is much better than we are today. Yes, there are grey zones, there are zones you need to think about, there are worrisome zones, but this is a great book for you to get acquainted on the goal number one, no poverty. There are sadder, more sadder books. The one is the haves and the have not. It's a phrase and a term we've read so often, so much have been spoken about. So there is actually a book by Branko Milanovic which is on haves and have not. Who are you? There is a session we did on no poverty where we said if you are able to take hot shower every day, you can eat a good breakfast, you've gone out on entertainment at least once in a month last time and you were invited or you invited somebody for a birthday or a party last one year, you are on the haves, you are a rich man. This is a great book to teach you what you are actually not missing out on. Another book is about the slavery. It's called Enslaved, the true stories of modern day slavery. When I think of slaves, I think of African colonialism being taken there to work in the farms of Latin America or Mexico. That's not true. Modern day slaves are child laborers. Modern day slaves are prostitutes. Modern day slaves are people who are working at lower wages, not employed well, which also talks about in global number 10. This is a great book which talks about what the world needs to know. Well, Slumdog Millionaire just showed one highlight in a nice way who wants to be millionaire format of a young boy rag to riches story. This is not so poignant, not so bright stories, but stories you and I must listen to. Let me go to the next slide. On no poverty, and I said I'm promising you 50 books, and these is one book on one genre, goal number one, no poverty. It's rich or poor. Very simple book, a lovely book with illustrations, poverty and inequality in today's time. On the theme I spoke about, human trafficking around the world, it's hidden in plain sight. You don't know how immigrants are being taken into. I'm sure the idea of this young boy, Island Kurdi, who was lying lifeless on the beach of Greece is very, very true. That's a no poverty. Poverty drives you to crime. Poverty drives you to desperation. Poverty drives you to two things you would otherwise know to. Another book on modern slavery by Siddharth Kara on a global perspective, what is happening to labor, the labor law, which is something you and I should read. I've given a mix of fiction, non-fiction and some personal recommendation and child reading. Because if you're a librarian in a school, this is a must books for you to hear and have them procure them. This is a lovely book. It's a book by Hane Kai. She and her, and, and her colleagues have created a square book on four main themes. Theme number one, poverty and hunger. Theme number two, refugees and migrant. And then what is amazing, it's an illustrated book. And if you look at the book, there's a small half globes or quarter globes all across. If you put the books together, this is how the books look like. So the other part is racism and intolerance and global conflict. This is an entire world that they are showing with barbed wires and people moving, which is an amazing concept to teach children what no poverty is all about. So on that first genre I want to talk about is this picture. It's something you have heard, seen, is a picture when you do Africa or vulture or a wild poor boy, you get this picture. This picture is of a young boy or a girl rather, who is almost starving and a vulture is waiting to devour her. This is a Pulitzer winning picture by a photographer by the name of Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is a South African photographer and he took this picture at the dying moments of the girl who was actually going to a can of rubbish where some food could be there. And this picture became so viral, it became the picture of Africa. Even Nas Daily refers to that in his video of one minute where Africa looks like this and this won him awards and accolades all over the world. But this also led him to depression. So this is Jim Carter and Jim Carter committed suicide after three months. He realized he was what I call the bystander effect. He was standing there, he was seeing, perhaps there were so many children and vultures around, he just wanted to take a picture, the perfect picture, but he could not live with himself after seeing what he has done to the world. He did not save a soul. I think you and I are equally responsible being bystanders. You and I see poverty across us. You and I see desperation and crime leading because of poverty and we do nothing about it. 
the least we can do is join us and make it a wide phenomena. Talk about poverty. Let the no poverty goal number one become one of our goals. You can be a participant in a community fridge or a drive for food or clothes because these are what these girls and boys need. Again, no poverty is not just about poor. It's also about human trafficking up for sale. Look at the eyes. Look at the girl. And this is, I think, I leave you with this. Because this is what I want to give you on what no poverty is about. It's one of my favorite topics. So I'll give you a lot of books on it. My last slide on something you would have read, a contemporary fiction, is a book by Khalid Husseini. I've loved his series, The Afghan-born Immigrant Author. And this book, one book, if Kite Runner is beautiful, the movie is very nice. But of course, the books always rule. But this book and The Mountain Eckerd is amazing. It talks about immigrants, desperation, war, and the beautiful Switzerland of Asia, Afghanistan, and what it became under the Taliban. And this is a book about actually poverty. The story of Pari, Amir Agha in Kite Runner. And then his third book, which all of them and the mountains echoed, is a book you must read. Then there is another book called Scroll. It's about a child being bullied. Lovely book. It's a novel. These are fictions I'm suggesting because what kind of genres you like to read. And then there is a book called And Now is the Time for Running. This is a book. You can see the barbed wires and football. So you can see the theme about it. Children playing, but then they have to escape poverty. The clutches that are going to grab them. Really beautiful book. Another book I recommend, a place called Here. It's about hope, it's about dreams, it's about people who would like to talk about. And this is my reading list for the goal number one on SDG, No Poverty. I hope you take up the stand and read one of the books. Share your suggestion on what else can I add to it. I told you there are so many books. I picked my favorites. Perhaps you can add more to what we can talk about. This is our first genre, goal number one, No Poverty. Happy reading. All the best. Thank you very much.